Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve a congruence equation by systematic listing. This is a good alternative to the Euclidean algorithm. It's not as time efficient, but it's a little bit easier to understand. We have a modular equation, 5x congruent to 1 mod 7. Um, to get started, what we really need to understand is what this means, what equality or congruence um, in modular arithmetic means. So in order for the number 5x to be congruent to 1 in mod 7, that's the same thing as saying that 5x minus 1 is equal to 0 mod 7. Or in other words, this means since congruence to 0 in mod 7 means that the number is divisible by 7, this means that 5x minus 1 is a multiple of 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to list out multiples of 7, and then we're also going to list out values of the expression 5x minus 1, letting x be any value from 0 up to 6. And the reason that we stop at 6 is because in uh, modular arithmetic with a base of 7, we only have the values 0 through 6, and then the number 7 is congruent to 0, and it starts over again. So I'm going to make a list of multiples of 7, and I'm going to make a list of values of 5x minus 1 when x is equal to 0 through 6. So the multiples of 7 are um, 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 1 is 7, and we can keep finding all the multiples of 7 by just adding 7. So for example, 7 plus 7 is 14 would be 2 times 7. 14 plus 7 is 21 would be 3 times 7. 21 plus 7 is 28 would be 4 times 7, and so on. So just keep adding 7. Get a few values going, and then we're going to pause. And of course, this list can go on forever. But what we would like to do is to find a 5x minus 1 value that matches with one of these multiples of 7. So for example, if x is equal to 0, then we would have the value 5 times 0 minus 1, or negative 1. If x is equal to 1, we would have 5 times 1 is 5, minus 1 is 4. If x is equal to 2, we'd have 5 times 2 is 10, minus 1 is 9. Notice each time the value is 5 greater. This coefficient of x, the 5, it's going to determine how much we're increasing each time. So rather than continuing to think of plugging in x, it'd be easier to just think of adding 5. After 9, the next number is 14. The next number would be 19, but we really don't need that because if you notice, 14 happens to be on our list of multiples of 7. So 14 would occur if we plugged 3 into 5 times x minus 1. So what we're looking for is an x that gives us a value for 5x minus 1 that's divisible by 7, and we found it. The solution to this equation is x equals 3. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like it. If you have any questions about this or any other problem, please post them in the comments below.